Hello guys, my name is Demon, and I am going to show you my 4-bit redstone computer. Um, it has 12 bytes of ROM, 12 bits of RAM, 4 bits of video RAM, and runs to around 0.15 Hz. Uh, so that's the specifications out of the way. Uh, I'm going to give you in this video a walkthrough of the basic parts, and then a short demonstration. Uh, so where I am right now is the main control point. Uh, the two buttons right ahead of me are for reset and set to the beginning, and the one just to my right is for the run, which will advance the ROM by one and execute the new command. So next I'm going to head just underneath here, uh, where I have my ROM. Um, right over here in this red wool, there are three fields in this. Uh, there is four bits for command, four for data and two for location. Uh, location is an internal location within the computer for which register in the RAM I want the function of the command to work for. Uh, underneath here is a sequence counter. Uh, each button press advances it by one and activates the new line of the RAM. And underneath of that is my circuit for unconditional branching, which will uh, select a point in sequence counter and run from there based on the data and the, and the input of the uh, branching command. So next I'm going to head just up here and show you show you my uh, the command decoder. Decodes the command and manipulates different parts of the computer to do what it wants. Uh, right here is a 4-bit logic gate decoder which decodes the command. And then right here the different wires activate and uh, send the commands down these buses which go to the command points on the multiplexers and the update points on the registers. Uh, right here in this purple wool this is a multiplexer. It is a 2x4 multiplexer stacked 4 high. Each layer is 1 bit. And right over here in the green wool is uh, my RAM. It's three 4-bit registers. Each register is one or each register is made up of four D flip flops which have their clock inputs wired together to a pulse generator. And right here is my display. It is two seven segment hexadecimal displays. And the green wool right here is my video RAM. Uh, right now only half the display is actually wired up because I only need four bits for the computer. Uh, but the other half will be used when I upgrade to eight bits. Uh, underneath here is my inverter made up of four XORs. Uh, this is my command executed indicator. Uh, when you press the run button, it will come on. And after the command has been successfully executed, it will go back off, telling you you can act it's uh, safe to activate the next line. And then just under here is my 4-bit adder. Uh, right here. It's probably pretty dark. You can't see much, but it's 4 bits of adder right there. So next, I'm going to do a short demonstration. Uh, this demonstration, uh, what it will do is count up through the even numbers and display them on the right hand display there. Uh, the, the demonstration code is made up of a, uh, well the first line writes 0 to A, uh, the next line will add 2 to register A, and the third line will display register A to the display, and the fourth line will jump to line 1, or line 2, sorry, to uh, once again, add A to register A, or add, sorry, add 2 to register A, and then it will continue from there. So, I'll be right back to do that. Alright, thank you very much for watching, I uh, hope you en enjoyed it and learned something from it, and uh, see you next time.